Hi, I'm Dr. Luke Rasmussen. I'm an orthopedic surgeon at the Orthopedic Institute in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. One of the ways that I incorporated technology into practice uh, was by using 3D printing, both as a tool to prepare for surgery, as well as one to explain to patients the pathology and the anatomical changes behind osteoarthritis. In one particular case, we had a, a very complex patient who had had multiple prior hip surgeries and had already been given what was considered uh, the last ditch attempt on giving him a, an effective hip replacement and it failed. When evaluating this patient, we got a CT scan to show us exactly how his anatomy and how the component had failed. And I was able to take that image and put it onto the 3D printer and build a, a 3D model. Uh, with that 3D model, we could show the patient exactly how we planned on revising the hip replacement, as well as using it interoperatively to see what bone he had remaining and plan how we were going to position the implants to take advantage of the little bone he had left. In hip replacement and knee replacement, we don't need to print a 3D model for every case. However, in very complex scenarios, it can be helpful in the surgeon planning process to build something in 3D and almost simulate how they're gonna do the procedure on the patient's actual anatomy, rather than having that experience the first time in the operating room. Similarly with patients, models that generally ex explain what arthritis is and uh, how the body changes, those are very helpful. But if you can show a patient their actual anatomy and show them their actual bone spurs and take that two-dimensional x-ray that they're used to seeing and convert that into three dimensions, it can be very helpful in helping someone understand why they're having limitations that they are.